Hello guys, I am very excited to share with you this new tool called as Auto GGUF. Auto GGUF is a new graphical user interface which is written in PyQt6. PyQt6 is a Python binding which is used to create GGUIs in Python language. This Auto GGUF is written in Python designed to streamline the process of quantizing GGUF models using the llama.cbp library. If you don't know what quantization is, quantization is a technique used to reduce the precision of the weights and activations of a model that can help reduce memory usage and improve performance. There is a key concept in quantization called as BPW or bits per weights. The BPW value determines the level of quantization applied to the model. A lower BPW value means more aggressive quantization which can result in lower memory usage but may also affect the model's accuracy. There are quite a common BPW values such as we have 32 bit which means full precision, no quantization at all. Then we have 16 which is half precision or 16 bit floating point numbers. Then we have 8 which is which means quantized to 8 bits for example int 8. Then we have 4 which means quantized to 4 bits which means int 4 or you can even quantize to 2 bits or even now we have ternary quantization and I already have done various videos on that. We also have used this word GGUF. GGUF stands for Generalized Grouped Uniform Quantization Format. This is the quantization scheme which is quite prevalent at the moment. In GGUF, the quantization levels are represented by a string code that indicates the precision and format of the quantized value. Let me quickly take you to hugging phase and show you these levels. So for example, just randomly select any GGUF model from hugging phase on the model card, click on files, go down and you will see that we have this IQ2, SX and then there are various other um, it's not let me click on this one for example and let me go down you see there we have q5km and then you will see q4ks and lot of other values so if i go back to files you can see that if you scroll down q3 q2 and then somewhere you will see k's there will be some m's and then it is going to keep very like that so what does these all values mean now what happens here is that Q stands for quantization and this 6 or 3 or whatever value is there after Q, it, it represents the number of bits used for the quantized values or BPW. In this case, it is 6. And then we have K. K indicates a, um, it, K indicates a quantization is applied to the weights value or kernel value. K is for kernel. L and, and then we have L. L indicates that the quantization is applied to the low precision value. You can also have here M for medium and S for small precision. So this is what quantization is. And this tool, Auto GGUF, which we are going to install locally and then we will also see how it works. It automates the download and management of llama.cpp backend, which enables us to do this quantization in C, C++ format. It also supports CUDA, which is NVIDIA's library for accelerating GPUs. It also enables you to have easy model selection and quantization. It gives us configurable quantization parameters. You can also monitor your system resources during the operations. It also has support for threaded execution if your operating system supports it. You can do extensive logging too. Also, this Auto GGUF is cross-platform compatible. It is open source with Apache 2 license and even it supports 28 languages. So it means you can go, you can uh, do the quantization of multilingual models. Windows and Ubuntu users can download the latest release executable and uh, which is already built with Py installer or you could install it from the source by git cloning the repo and then installing the prerequisites and just running the batch file that's it the interface we will see shortly simplifies the quantization a lot so let's go and try to install it before that let me give a huge 
shout out to mass compute who are sponsoring the gpu and vm for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description and i am also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of a gpu so do check them out and now let me take you to my terminal and you can see that i am running ubuntu 22.04 and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 let me clear the screen and now let me create the conda environment which i'm calling auto ggf let's wait for it to get installed and that is almost done let me install some of the prerequisites which include torch and transformers in this conda environment this is going to take a minute both are done let's now git clone the repo and then cd into it and i will drop the link to it in video's description let me clear the screen now let's install a couple of more prerequisites for this to work like pyqt and stuff let me paste the command here and we are just installing this stuff here shouldn't take too long and that's all done let's clear the screen all the prerequisites and um, github is done now let's run this application in order to run it all you need to do is to just run this python 3 source main.py and as soon as you run it it is going to open this gui interface in your um, on your local desktop and same process goes for uh, other operating systems too and you see it is showing you your cpu usage here and lot of other stuff for example there is your ram usage it is telling you where it is going to save the models llama.cpp backend and because i don't have it installed so that is why it is saying it is not available but if you install it you can just refresh it from here and then from here you can simply select your quantization and there are a lot of quantizations here and you already know what all of these mean 32 bit 16 bit and all um, there is some i matrix one too which are the similar quantization but sometimes better and then all the levels are there so all you need to do is to just select your models from here and then from your llama.cpp backend and then select your quantization level keep everything as is and you can simply select few other options whether you want to include the model weights or not if you want to do any embedding for the tokens but i would suggest you simply just keep it as is and then click on this quantize model button and it will start the quantization also if you don't have llama.cpp you can download it you can also even make it bigger the screen okay much better so you see you even select your llama cpp release from here refresh releases so as soon as i clicked on refresh releases it has given me the releases you just select the latest one and then this is fine doesn't matter you can also extract the CUDA files if you like and then but you would have to install the CUDA backend here which means that you would have to install the CUDA toolkit if you like and then simply you can click on download and it is going to start downloading the llama.cpp on your local system and then it is going to give you this that where exactly is downloaded and has stored it and in order to quantize the model i would suggest that you go to your hugging face model page for example this model page and then click on files here from here let's say you want to quantize this one click here you go to files and then from here right click on this download button copy the link go back to your terminal in your terminal maybe open a new window and then click on new window let me go back and then just go to auto ggf directory go to models and you see that i already have this gemma to download it there but if you want to download your own simply do wget and the whole link to that um, model so it has i haven't copied it so let's do the copy link from here and then just let me remove this one from here and then you can simply paste the link here and it is going to 
download the whole model for you once you download it you can simply go and then you will see that the model is available here because it is in your model directory from here you can simply um, click on allow requantize because it's already quantized GDUF format but you can select any model of your choice and that is the beauty of it and then you, all you need to do is to just click on quantize model and it is going to create a quantized model for you so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it very nifty utility you can simply do this very easily from the graphical user interface but if you are still a cli person you can keep using your um, quantization through cli i already have done few videos on it because there are heaps of tools available to do so please search the channel if you're interested if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching